In early 1971, Gary Vermeer, Arnie Mathis, and a group of product engineers chalked the initial design of the original Vermeer hay baler on the factory floor. The first prototype rolled out the door and the one-man hay system was born 45 days later. By the summer of 1971, the baler was shown across Iowa and Vermeer had received more than 300 purchase orders. Plans were then made to build a minimum of 2,000 units in 1973, and Vermeer ended up building approximately 3,500 balers. The baler program is one of the most successful programs Vermeer Manufacturing Company has ever conducted. The 605C baler was the first model to substitute rollers for the bottom platform belt found in the A and B models. 13,160 605C balers were made from 1974 to 1979, more than any other Vermeer model. The 605D baler was considered the first economy large round hay baler on the market. The baler would operate with a 45 to 70 horsepower tractor and make bales that weighed between 1,000 and 1,300 pounds. The 605E baler was primarily designed by Stan Vermeer and Arnie Mathis. It introduced the open throat concept, which helped start a bale more efficiently and is still used on large round hay balers today. Continuing with the open throat design, the 605F baler also featured spring and hydraulic belt tensioning to make the tightest bale on the market. For those desiring a lower price baler, Vermeer offered the 605G model. It featured the same basic design as the 605F, but with spring belt tensioning only. Vermeer also introduced the smaller 403 series baler to fill the requirements of small farming and dairy operations. Long distance hauling requirements brought about 504 series balers, so producers could fit two four-foot bales side by side on a standard eight-foot truck bed. Known in the market as the baler that just ran, Many eye balers are still out in the field today. In 1989, Vermeer launched 504i silage balers. These were the first to offer an option for high moisture baling. In 1985, Vermeer introduced the 605J baler as the baler that thinks. This was the first baler equipped with a computer control system with automatic weave, bale wrap, and ejection functions. K balers were the first to feature the drop and go ejection system. This eliminated the need to disengage and re-engage the PTO when dropping a bale. By 1999, Vermeer had reached a milestone and the 100,000th baler rolled off the production line. To commemorate the special machine, it was painted gold and signed by Gary Vermeer. In an effort to meet the needs of part-time farmers and ranchers who wanted the flexibility and convenience of putting up hay on their schedule, Vermeer introduced the Rebel Baler in 1999. With over 11,000 produced, Rebel Balers became one of the most popular baler series ever built at Vermeer. XL balers were designed based on feedback from customers who desired a baler that was straightforward to operate and maintain, and one that gave them more hay per day and fewer high-density bales. Equipped with a five-bar pickup, bottom drum design, horizontal bale starting system, and rubber-mounted pickup teeth, they were the balers that loved to eat hay. Alan Winkle of Winkle Manufacturing in Glen Elder, Kansas said, when Vermeer came out with the M Baylor in 04, that put us on the map here. That's when people started opening their eyes to what Vermeer was making, and people started seeing that there was a big difference. Super M Balers were geared towards making the best looking bale in the least amount of time. 
and they accomplished that. Not only were they the toughest balers on the market, they were the leaders in speed and efficiency. Continuing to be innovators in the forage industry, Vermeer released pro balers to handle the rigors of baling wet, heavy crops. As of 2020, pro balers are now built in Pella, Iowa, along with the rest of the Vermeer baler lineup. At the right size and the right price, Vermeer Rancher balers are designed to be economically priced and operate with low horsepower tractors, commonly found in cow-calf operations. The Vermeer 6650 Rancher Baler is the only baler in the Vermeer lineup today that offers a 5.5 foot diameter. With a sleek new design, N-Series balers had an updated look but still offered high performance baling. The 605N Baler was the first baler to offer an in-cab touchscreen monitor. The full color 7 inch display allows producers to track information for up to 20 customers with 10 fields for each customer. In 2008, the 605 Super M Cornstalk Special was the first baler to offer a powered wind guard. Today, the 605N Cornstalk Special is designed for custom operators and high volume producers. Cornstalk Special Balers are built to increase tonnage per day and help produce feed and bedding on cattle operations. In 2016, Vermeer introduced R-Series Balers with the 504R Signature Baler. Designed to be a baler for every operation, this series is built upon the three pillars of Vermeer Balers. Convenience, ease of use, and durability. The 504R Classic and Premium Balers were released in 2017, followed by the 604R Series Balers in 2019. The first of its kind, the ZR5-1200 self-propelled baler makes quick work of a field while offering an unprecedented level of operator comfort and maneuverability. Every machine we build, every round hay bale produced, has a direct impact on supporting a healthy and vibrant food supply. This drives us to innovate products that help make haymaking more efficient in all aspects.